Hey guys, it's Lydia and today I wanted to do a tips on keeping organized with your computer when you're on the road. I used to sit in an office so I used to have a desktop like most people do in an office but you're, when you're traveling you don't have a desktop. You don't have bins and you don't have an outbox and all this stuff. And most of our lives when we're traveling are digital now and they're electronic. So you need to find a way to keep organized other than writing notes and all this other stuff. So I'm going to show you what I have done with my computer desktop because for me my computer is my desktop it's got my inbox it's got things that I gotta do in there and I want to be able to that when I'm at home and I shut down my computer and close it I don't gotta worry about oh I gotta transfer this and this and this no my desktop is set that wherever I turn it on I know exactly what I need to do if I have to print something I know that I have to do that especially with traveling if you're if you're carrying around a printer you probably don't print every day but there might come a time where maybe you are boondocking and now you have to get to a campsite on the weekend and you have to print stuff. So I'm going to show you what I do to remind yourself that you have to do certain things on your computer. Okay, so now we're actually looking at my computer. I have the MacBook. And what you see here on my computer is desktop wallpaper that I have. And I'll tell you where to get this in a minute. It's a desktop wallpaper and I have it customized with a to-do, a miscellaneous, to share, to print, holding, and to file. So basically in my to-do, these are things that I have to get done, files that I either have to look over or work that has to be done will go here. My miscellaneous is usually receipts that I have to uh, look at to orders that I purchase online and I'm holding and waiting for them to arrive. I'll usually do there or anything that I receive that I'm not sure what I need to do with. Share is usually stuff I post on Facebook, um, videos that I have to share, usually we'll go here things that I have to upload to print this is the important one because in this one if you're on the road and you um, have to wait till you have electric to print you could actually store your file here so when you do get to a campsite you know that okay I turned on my computer now I'm here and I have to print I have to print some stuff out so this one is really this is really a great one to file is just things that are going to go um, filed on your, your computer. So sometimes we don't always have time. What I do is I put my statements here and then when I have a couple of them, I just go in and I, and I store them in the uh, different files inside my computer. And then of course holding, this is where I store my bills. So if I, in other words, in this MetLife, this is my, my car insurance here. So I have the date on, it says MetLife 1114 that I know on 1114 I have to pay that bill. So that's where I keep my bills that are coming due in the, in the next you know, one or two weeks or whatever. I keep them there. So this is a great way to keep yourself organized because if I close my computer right now and I go in two days, I open it up, I'm going to know exactly what are the things that I need to do because it's all spelled out for me right here on my computer. This is the same as if you had a real desk and you had boxes and, and, uh, and organizers, okay? So go to my Simply RVing pinterest page and you're going to see that i have actually have this one on there these are not mine these belong to other people but they're 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 available for free and you can download it if you go to their website you can download these you're going to do is you're going to put this into she's going to tell you how to do it but usually what you'll do is it, it'll be a blank you'll download the blank and then you're going to pick monkey and you'll actually enter um the um, the different labels that you want then you'll save it as a PDF and then you'll import it into your wallpaper file and then that way um, this will be your desktop wallpaper it's really simple to do and they show you how to do it when you go online and go to their website and do it so and it's free so you can't go wrong with that mm -hmm. 